that's what I worked my whole life for. Right here. I'm Jim Steele and I'm from WSAT 237 and I'm down here today with Michael Baza, the number one high school quarterback prospect in the nation. So Mike, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, you know, I grew up in southern eastern uh, Nevada. Uh, I really got into the sport when I hit middle school. Me and my dad used to go out and throw all the time. Uh, I just got really into it and I thought I could go pro one day, so I'm on my way. <laughs> Alright, Mike. Hold on. Clay, come on dude. I'm, I'm busy. Oh my gosh. Sorry, that's just Clay. That's right. So, Sebastian, what does your daily schedule look like? Uh, well, every morning I get up at 6.30. Right away, I'll head over to the fields, uh, get in some stretches, get nice and loose. Uh, then I'll just move into some speed work, uh, high knees, evading tacklers, just like the huge. Uh, I'll start doing some strength stuff, uh, work out the, or just work out the guns. <laughs> Uh, after that, me and the crew just head right over to the track, get some more leg work in, put some more miles on these pistons, uh, do some stairs and sprints, and of course, I'll be working on my throws all day, every day. So, Stuart, what is your relationship like with your coach? Oh my gosh, coach is great. He's there every day, an hour before me at least, setting up drills for me. I don't think he's seen anyone. Me and him don't really talk about that kind of stuff much, or anything really. But Coach is one of the kindest, most tender men I've ever met, and he knows everything about the QB position. Coach says he played for Brown College back in the day, but I don't know really. I think me and him have a great friendship. Hey, run that again! Alright, now I'm here with Michael Bozzo's coach. Coach, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Alright, so, Coach, what is it like training with Michael Bozzo? He's a good kid. So, Richie, I know you like to play uh, some ball with my son, Bolt, Bolt Steel. Some of the viewers at home probably know of him. But who are some of the people you like to train with? Yeah, I just, I just train with some of my high school buddies. Like you said, Jim, your son Bolt and I started playing ball probably when we were about five. Back when we were proud penguins. <laughs> That's our high school mascot. Bolt was a top recruit kicker and also a pretty darn good punt returner. He's one of my favorite guys to chuck the old pigskin with. <laughs> We've had our differences throughout the years. In seventh grade, he had uh, he had a crush on my sister, so that caused him tension for sure. But it never affected us on the field, just on MySpace beef. All right, so you're gonna run kick, all right? So I pretty much just run right there and stop, right? Yeah, you're just gonna stop. I'm gonna hit you with it. Yep. All right, sounds all right, good. Go. Now Bolt is a heck of an athlete. Don't get me wrong there. Do not get me wrong. But the man is complete garbage at running routes. Cannot stick to a route to save his life. Back in the title game, I call for him to do a post route. He runs a short slant. We still win the game. I rush for a 30-yard touchdown. Got carried off the field. Best day of my life. <sighs> Besides Bolt, uh, another guy I like to hang out with is uh, my man Earl. We go way back. Fastest man I've ever met. So I've been, I've been, uh, Earl, Earl. You know, we have a strict uh, workout regimen, you know, we just come in here and get a few throws in, get a few reps, you know. Does this look good? What's your favorite thing about coming with top recruit Michael Bozzo? Football. Where we are, 
time of day, how old we are, our sex, you know, it's time to ball. Thank mm -hmm. you.